Hi, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. It's your terrible Renee. If you don't know, now you know. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in today's video. So today I'm giving y'all three things in one, okay? So first I'm going to give y'all some skincare tips, okay? We're going to do a mask. Then I'm going to do my hair, show you guys how I get this cute high puff. And then I'm going to give y'all a natural slight beat. So like what what more could you want you know but first go ahead and give me a like on this video okay like do you see the quality do you see this backdrop like get into it give me a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel don't be coming here getting all the tips from the girl and don't subscribe like what like what like Shrek. But 
yeah this clay mask is really good i bought mine from bed bath and beyond but this crap is so everywhere like target walmart the grocery store nine times out of ten so go get you one sis one thing about this is that because it's a powder and you mix it with a a, a liquid it lasts you for so long like i've had this for so many months so i'm gonna wait until this completely dries i'm gonna go clean it off with warm water and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna tackle this beast right here okay do y'all see this it looks a mess it looks a mess so i'll be back with a fresh face okay Okay, so skin is done. I just threw on some bio oil and whatnot. So if you think I look a little greasy, it's bio oil, okay? And now we're going to tackle this hair, sis, because this just looks a hot mess. You feel me? But what I'll be showing y'all is how I do my high puff. So this is for my natural girls. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how I get my curls popping. Ooh child, ooh child, ooh chile. This is the first thing I'll be using or whatever. This is one of my faves. It smells really, really good. I'm just gonna spray this all over my hair to give it some moisture. Okay, so once you do that, I also like to put a little bit of water in my hair just so I can like wake up my curls. So this is the oil I'm going to be using in my hair. I'm just going to use this to like seal in the moisture that I just put in there. Um, as you can see, it's the same oil that I used in my last hair tutorial and it's almost gone now. So I do like it, but I only like it when I'm styling my natural hair. But yeah, I just put a little bit in my hands. And I just go into the ends of my hair. And I smooth the rest on the side. Now I'm going to be taking my demon brush and I'm just going to brush out my hair so I can like clump my curls up a little bit. So my curls can just be a little bit more defined, you know? And I only focus this on like the ends of my hair. Cause that's the only part that'll be showing in the puff. And I just like to do this to random sections throughout my head. If you know what kind of curl pattern I have, can you please let me know in the comments down below? Because Jatar has no idea. Like, I don't know. Now I am going to Get some eco and slick the front, the sides, and the back of my hair and put it into a high ponytail. My eco is almost gone, but I like to use the maximum 10 hold. I get like this much. I don't even know if you can see that. And I put it all in my hair. Once I do that, I have a hard brush and a soft brush. I go in with the hard brush first so I can get all the kinks. One thing you don't want to do is brush through your hair because you're going to mess up your curls. So I brush the sides of my hair and then I stop. bigger and my hair is pretty thick girls pretty thick and I wrap it around as many times as possible before I think this little jaw is gonna pop okay then what I like to do is take a little bit more eco and focus it on like edges like right here to 
make sure everything's super slick. And I get the soft brush and I just smooth everything out. So this is what we have so far. Now what I'm gonna do is tackle these edges, honey, okay? Because the edges are very important. Mm -hmm. I like to use a little bit of Gatsby on my edges. I'm almost out, but I just take a little bit on my finger and I place it right on my edges. And this is like really self-explanatory. I'm just showing y'all how I do it. And I have a lot of sideburns, so I gotta get those too, sis. Then I like to get my version of an edge brush and I'm about the ladies looks, okay? Let me get up close and personal. Um, usually what I do is I start the front for some reason. I don't really know why. I do a little swoop here. And I brush into my hair. Then I do a little swoop there. And a swoop here. I can't even see. And on this side, I like to do a curl in the opposite direction. You know, give it some flavor. Okay, I'll be doing my edges like 12 times until I think they look cute. But this is how they looking for today. My edges look different like every single day. But what I'm gonna do is get a scarf and I'm gonna lay my hair down while I continue like fluffing out my puff, okay? Okay, so boom, as for the fluffing of my puff, I like to get a wide tooth comb or like a shower comb and I just go in and like fluff it since I don't have a pluck. This is what I do instead, just to give it some height and I like, <laughs> and I kind of like shake it out. And then I just like to go in certain places and spray a little bit more of the conditioner and like finger coil some of my curls. Like this one right here. And just like smooth it and finger curl it. Coil it so it can like pop out. Take my scarf off. So yeah, this is what we looking like with the hair. See, we coming together, okay? It's coming together. So now it's time for the face. So as for my makeup, what I'll be doing is just a natural, everyday kind of face. It's not going to be a full face of makeup. I'm just going to kind of like touch up some things, okay? So I'm going to fill in my brows like super light. And yeah. It's also going to be a talk through because I haven't done one of these in a minute. And look, y'all, I'm showing y'all how I'm doing my brows, okay? Are y'all are y'all excited? Because I'm excited. I'm using the NYX Micro Pencil and Espresso. It is, like, past the time for me to, like, pluck my brows. I don't know why I have yet to do that. Why do I always get hungry when I'm doing my makeup? Like, I get so hungry when I do my makeup. No, that one real. I can't take a break because... Hello, I'm doing my makeup. So, like I said, I'm not gonna fill my brows in super dark. I'm just gonna do them pretty lightly. This is lightly, this is light in my opinion, okay? So, my brows are filled in. Yes, they, they are even because my brows are definitely cousins. I feel like my brows may be friends, actually. Now it's time to carve my brows out a little bit. So I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. Or whatever. It's not gonna focus. I don't even know why I tried. And I just put like the littlest amount on the back of my hand. That's probably too much. Don't, don't worry. And lately I've been using a very detailed like angle brush to carve out my brows. And girl, it's the best decision I ever made. Am I close enough? Can y'all see me? Do y'all like my background? Hello, like the elephant in the room. I didn't even like discuss that. I hope y'all like it. I cannot multitask when I'm doing brows. It's really hard to like 
Also, I want to start making it a habit of telling you guys where I get all of my products because some people that watch my channel may be new to makeup or like they they may not know where to get all this stuff from. So as for my brow pencil, I got that from Ulta. It's also sold at CVS and some Rite Aids, I think. I may be tripping. The LA girl I got from the beauty supply store. Yes. Cut that hole. So once that's done, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush that I got from CVS, I believe, for like a dollar. E.l.f. brushes are really good. They're really cheap, but they're really good. And I'm just gonna like, oh, some of my brush. <laughs> and I'm just gonna like pat this into my skin, and then I'm gonna buff it out. Okay. I find that when I pat it first and then I blend it out, it just looks more natural. And you know, that's what we going for today, the natural beat. See how natural that looks? Oh my God. Yes, get into it, sis. Get it, get into it, okay? Bye. Now, what are we doing? I'm going to move on to face because we're not doing no eyeshadow. Like, what? Like, this is an everyday light beat. You feel me? So, we're not doing no eyeshadow, okay? I'm gonna go into the face with some primer and I'm gonna use Cover FX. Duh, always. Hello. Don't even know if you can see it, but I'm gonna use this. And I usually do the whole double primer situation, but we don't even need to do that because we ain't even putting on that much makeup. Once I do that, I'm going to use the Morphe Setting Mist. One quick look, you know, and something that I don't usually do is I'm going to go back into my LA Pro Girl Concealer. And y'all see all these little red spots and whatnot? We just gonna cover those up with a little bit of concealer. I have a lot of little spots, so of course I'm not gonna be able to get all of them, but I'm just gonna get the ones that are most noticeable, like that one right there. Right there, right there. And here's the key. You're gonna wanna let this sit on your face, okay? You're gonna wanna let it dry down so it covers as much as possible. Yeah. So now that this has been sitting on my face for a little while, I'm going to take my Sephora 202 brush and I'm going to take the small end Yes, I'm using a brush, not a beauty blender. And I'm just gonna pat that product into my skin and lightly blend out the concealer. See, I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but this side looks much more airbrushed. I don't know, you just see less blemishes than you would have seen on this side. And I really like this technique because I look good, like hello, like my skin looks much better, but my skin still feels very light, you know, like I don't have a lot of product on my face, so my face doesn't feel heavy. It looks like... I have on some light coverage foundation but one thing that I don't like about this is the concealer is concealer okay it's light so I want to put a little bit more color back into my face so what I'm gonna do is take one pump literally one pump of my foundation I'm using the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation the color macchiao and i'm just gonna warm that up on the back of my hand like so and i'm going to lightly pounce this all over my face just to blend everything out and just to give me my actual color back now i'm gonna go back into the la girl and i'm gonna put like the littlest amount of concealer on the places i want to highlight a little bit I'm 
gonna go in with a damp Morphe sponge and I'm just going to blend everything out. I go around and around and I'ma go down in slow motion. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow brick road heat that the ice cream cone. Then I pick it up, look at it, I said, Yellow y'all know I don't ever bake so I get my Sephora brush in the number 91 and I go in and brush everything off it looks like we took a long time to do our makeup but we really didn't now I'm gonna go in with this kiss pro touch matte foundation in the color I don't know the color because it's covered with this little sticker on it but we're gonna like bronze our face a little bit and I'm gonna use this um, Juicy Couture brush. I miss my summer tan, you know? Like, I be feeling like I gotta contour and bronze a lot because I look so pale. Oh, and I also don't cut it underneath it. I just let it be. Then I go into the Morphe setting mist again and I spray my whole face. You know, you be needing some moisture once you go in with all that powder. And today I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty in Me, Money, and Hustler Baby. And I'm just gonna mix the two. Is it gonna show? I'm just gonna mix the two and like give myself a little glow. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I go crazy still when I do like a natural beat is the fact that I have to go I have to go in with the highlight I have to like this will be looking like so far you feel me nice little glow so one of the final steps is to go in with some mascara I'm gonna use the Maybelline great lash and I'm just gonna coat I'm gonna coat the F out of my lashes okay like what is by the end it's gonna look like I have my falsies okay Do y'all see what I just did there? Do you see the difference? Like, you you can't tell me that you don't see the difference right there. And no, no falsies, just mascara. Okay, so now the last and final step is to do my lippy. And y'all, this is the same lip combo that I did in my last video. I have fallen in love with this lip combo, y'all. This is the LA Girl Eyeliner, hello, not even a lip pencil, in Espresso. It is max, kind of sexy. Oh my god, sexy ain't even the word, but yeah. And then NK makeup lip gloss, clear lip gel. I'm putting y'all on, okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.